The Tour de Trois is taking place this Saturday. It's a big event for people who love to see the city from the seat of a bicycle. And as our Kim DiGiulio explains, while the tour has grown and gone through a lot of changes, so has our city. Believe it or not, the Tour de Trois, which is a 26 mile bike ride around the city of Detroit, is celebrating its 21st anniversary this year. It used to start in downtown Detroit with just 35 people in its original year. Eventually it moved to the front of Michigan Central Station, but this year only it's got a new starting location right here at Riverside Park. With construction happening at Roosevelt Park in front of Michigan Central Station, the former starting location for Tour de Trois, it's a reminder of all the renovation Detroit has seen in the tour's 21 year existence. When we first started, the city didn't even think about bike rides or bike routes throughout the city. Now it's a very big subject. You can see them all over the city. Tour de Trois will give more than 2,000 bikers a different view of the city. And the goal of the ride is really to bring um, people through the city, see different neighborhoods, um, be able to see the city on two wheels, which is a very different experience than driving through the city. Each year, the route is different. And with the starting location at Riverside Park, the tour will make a full loop following West Grand Boulevard to east, all the way to Belle Isle. Goes through New Center, um, a little bit of the outskirts of Woodbridge through parts of Southwest Detroit, Island View, um, and it's just it, through the Packard plant, and it gives like a really good, I guess, history of um, transportation in the city and why that loop existed. Speaking of transportation, Ford, the leading sponsor of the tour, will certainly have their hands full this weekend with the auto show and the Tour de Trois. We're really pleased that Ford, with everything they have going on downtown with cars, chose to support bikes this weekend as well. And it just shows like they see this as a mobility center and it's not just focused only on car transportation, but transportation and connectivity to neighborhoods and everything throughout. It is not too late to register. You can register up until about 15 minutes before the event. So come until 845 and get your spots. The tour kicks off at 9 a.m. Reporting at Riverside Park, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.